Hi guys, today's video is how to fit DPC on a new extension guys, alright? So as you can see here, this is called the DPC tray, alright? So what you do is, on the internal course here, it goes up from the one on the outside course, alright guys, as you can see, the heights are different, one block up. But what that does, so once we've laid this in here, it'll be like that. Any water that comes down inside the cavity, guys, will disperse down and out. Alright, so you've not got anything within the property. Um, and then also, as you can see here, on the inside course, you put a 4 inch DPC. Guys, if you come around here, you can take a look. You put a 4 inch DPC down here, okay, same height as this block course. So it's the same height as where the tray finishes. Okay, so what that does is any moisture from the inside won't penetrate past this DPC, guys, right? So obviously you don't want it coming up inside the property. So we've got this here, this is where our floor joists are going to sit, roughly around here. So that's why this is all in here, but that's all the way around, guys. So the internal course, that 4 inch DPC, and the tray is all the way around as well. And then we have these openings here for... So we've got a um, nice sliding doors coming in here. So we have a cavity here, put cavity, cavity closures across that. And then also guys, if you come over here, so when you're joining extension to an existing property, as you can see up here, okay guys, that's called a vertical DPC. So that's another important one that you need to do as well. So what that does is, if you can imagine external block works out there, any water that penetrates through that block work, it's not gonna get past here, guys, all right? So it's gonna run down, hit the tray below, and again, disperse out. If you don't do that, it can penetrate through here and come through on the internal side. All right, guys, so that's another very important one to do. Make sure you do that, all right, guys? Cheers.